All right, y'all. So a question I see a lot on the internet is, is an MVP the same as a prototype or how are they different? <sighs> this is another one of those things where like English has so many words to describe the same thing. And then on top of that, in an industry like Silicon Valley, there's so many innovators that want to fashion themselves as like, you know, so forward thinking that they just keep coming up with new terms. And that just confuses all of you who are like not really in this field and don't know yet. So let me just quickly define the concept of a minimal viable product is the smallest amount of features that demonstrate your unique value proposition and solve the customer's problem in the cheapest way possible, okay? So I'll answer the other question, which is, does an MVP need to be coded? No. Okay, so an MVP is those four things. The prototype, <clears throat> you people use the word prototyping to like say, you know, talk about mimicking the product in some way. So a minimal viable product could also be a prototype, right? The prototype saw, shows how you solve the problem. In my opinion, in the structure of a lean startup, the MVP, whether it's coded or a productized service or a concierge service or any other way that you provide this value is an actual thing that provides value to the end customer and you can see how the end customer actually engages in it actually derives value okay a prototype mimics the value delivering mechanism okay so you might prototype the app using wireframes or using a no code uh, service uh, clickable clickable designs, uh, anything like that. It shows how the product delivers value, but you wouldn't actually be able to like deliver the actual value to the customer with a prototype. The prototype lets you get feedback in hypothetical ways, like via user testing. Is the prototype, like if we have it laid out this way, is it a user-friendly journey? Does it have all the information a user would want to know? But it's still quite hypothetical. It's not actually live in an environment for people to like interact with and get the actual value out of. Whereas an MVP, you could be as a verb prototyping your end product, but like you're actually delivering the service or delivering the end value proposition so that you can see if people will pay for it and will pay for a solution that does it your way. So I know that's like very, very nuanced, but that is my answer to does an MVP um, is an MVP a prototype? And I guess what I'm saying is, no, an MVP provides actual value where a prototype mimics the value in a hypothetical environment in order to get better feedback before building the real thing.